Welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Last time we took out the dreaded giant, saw the dragon freak again. It's a dragon rider, whatever. And uh, Carol ran away, so we have to go find Carol. So let's head up here and figure out where he went. Just start heading out. I think he's just out in front. Oh, here we go. Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me! I think you've got other people who'll listen to you! Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe! Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there! I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming! Carol joined the party! Yeah, now you can see why I don't really like Carol as a character. Air sec. So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rogo's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. Yay, we're sick. Okay, heading down here, and uh, we're gonna start heading out of here. So I finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri! But how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita? You too? Wait! You've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abducted. Oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lowell, and his accomplices. G you! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch! Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. Woo! Go LeBlanc! If it isn't Schwann, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves, 
Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? Hey, hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them. I beg you. Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking. Walk, I say. Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling. Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. It's Schwan. Go, members, fall out. Still earned the royal successor title, and uh, she left the party. And we've been captured. Yay! Prison again. Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedalay? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write, you have no signs of remorse in the report, then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours, anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero, and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically, his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha! Ah, ah! Yes! Owned! Estelle the princess. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess! I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up! You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man! I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. <laughs> oh, anyways, before you leave here... Yes, you found me, you're pretty good! I'll teach you to cook as a reward! Learn the recipe for fish with miso sauce! I'll give you this so you can practice! Obtain three sets of ingredients for the recipe! Gotta go till we meet again! I am the Wonder Chef! <laughs> yes. Girl, I'll remember you, Yuri Lowell! I'll let you go this time. You better watch it next time. Aha. Uh -huh. We win. You lose. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's just keep going. I think I still got a little bit of time left. Okay, so now that we've been pardoned, there's a whole bunch of guys here, but we're just going to ignore them all for now. Okay. Okay. 
So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torm Harbor and the city of Dongrest. It's the only... It's, it was only recently built, but... Ah, whatever. Follows Road East, you'll hit Kerbokram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west, and we'll get northwest to Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe we'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do? Parted with everyone! Yay! The rising city, Heliord. And next time, we are going to go look around the city. So, we shall see you then.